Next up on copycat.com, Longhorn Steakhouse Parmesan Crusted Chicken. Hi everyone, this is Stephanie Manley with copycat.com. Today we are gonna visit one of my favorite steakhouses with this copycat recipe, Longhorn Steakhouse Parmesan Crusted Chicken. This is a delicious chicken recipe to make. And you know what, it's not that hard. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I got some chicken breasts here. They're pretty large and thick. So we're going to um, kind of cut these in half horizontally. So the meat will cook quicker and um, it'll cook more evenly this way as well. All right, so you're just going to cut it like this. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our chicken in a container. We're gonna marinate the chicken. So really quickly, I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'll come back and I'll show you how to marinate the chicken. So I washed my hands and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some marinade, chicken marinade. I really like this Liam Perrin's chicken marinade. It adds a really good, good flavor, and um, it turns chicken into something extraordinary. Um, if not, you know, you could probably use Italian dressing. Um, it's kind of up to you. So I'm just gonna put the lid on this, give it a shake, put it in the refrigerator, and we're gonna make our cheese sauce to go with this dish next. So I'm gonna start this recipe with a half a cup of heavy cream to start with. You can use half and half, but this is gonna be the basis for our cheese sauce. And I'm gonna start out with about a quarter cup or so of mozzarella cheese. Then I'm going to use a provolone blend right here. And I'm also going to use a little bit of Parmesan cheese, a couple tablespoons of Parmesan. And we're just gonna stir this and let it get all nice and melted together. Okay, so while this is cooking, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of ranch dressing mix, the dry kind. This will add some additional flavor to this dish. Again, it's just about a teaspoon. and this will serve as our sauce. And so when the cheese gets all melted, we're gonna come back and we're gonna go ahead and cook our chicken. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of oil in my pan. I'm gonna let it heat up just a little bit more and we're gonna go ahead and put down our chicken and we're gonna saute our chicken till it's completely cooked through. So our chicken has been cooking for a little bit. You can see it's getting all nice and white around the edges, so it's time to go ahead and flip it over. We're gonna make our crumb topping. I have a couple tablespoons of melted butter and I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of panko breadcrumbs. A little bit more and I'm gonna add one tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna give this a stir. This is gonna be a topping for us, for the chicken. So our chicken has finished cooking. You take it, it looks nice, it's beautiful and browned thanks to that marinade. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of this cheese sauce. See, it's really nice. I like to incorporating it into a cheese sauce because you get a chance to really blend the cheeses together. And every time I've had it served, it looks like it's being done from a cheese sauce to me. So we're just gonna spread this over a little bit. We'll add a little bit more cheese to it. See how nice does that look? All right. We're gonna take a little bit of that cheese sauce. I'm sorry, the shredded cheese, and we're gonna sprinkle that on top. Then we're gonna put our crumb topping on here, and we're gonna pop it into um, a broiler oven, or you can use your regular oven it just under broil for a couple of minutes. We're gonna pull this out when the panko crumbs begin to brown and we'll be back in just a moment. 
So our Longhorn Steakhouse Parmesan crusted chicken has just come out of the broiler. So it's got the cheese on it, the panko crumbs have brown. It smells really, really nice in here. It's one of my favorite dishes at the Longhorn Steakhouse, well, other than steak. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try in just a moment. If you enjoy these copycat recipes, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below of what you'd like to see next. And be sure to subscribe, it's free. And guess what? You get to get notifications of all of our videos. We release videos on Sundays and Wednesdays. So be sure to subscribe so you can see what we're cooking next. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of this chicken. Mmm, really nice. The marinade does a really good job on here. A little bit of crunch from the panko and a really nice cheese flavor right here. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.